owners of these two wallets love them, and they'll tell you as much. So we're doing a quick comparison of the Open Seas Hubei and the Taurus Camp Grain Wallet. That'd be great. All right. All right, here we go. We've got the Hubei. This is 1.0, we'll talk about 2.0, and here is the grain wallet. I've had people ask, well, why aren't we doing a review on the base camp? Well, because I want to do the grain wallet. We can get to the base camp later. I'm going to set this aside right now, and we're going to look at the Hubei. Again, as I mentioned, this is the 1.0. The 2.0 has been released, which is essentially removal of this seam at the bottom. So instead of having this uh, seam of thread, uh, there is no seam and it's leather that wraps up. Now, the improvement, of course, is that the, the point of failure is going to be this thread. Helps remove that point of failure. And it's just uh, the only thing different is that's removed. And it's just how the two pieces of leather involved are folded. If you like this and you want this 1.0, you can also request it. Now, this is a whiskey color combined with a green with white thread. I ordered this and did the initial review in 2021. And I've kind of carried it a little bit. That's why it looks a, a wee bit used, but if, you know, used isn't the right thing. Um, how about um, loved? That's it. Loved is a good way of putting it. Now, this is a very popular wallet for Michael Bluth, the owner. And he has a nice shop on Oahu I had the chance to visit uh, a while back. Now, from a quality perspective, this is designed and made in the United States. It is a full grain veg tan leather from the Concerti Wapier Tannery in Italy. It has a nice balance between a supple and firm. If we take this out here and we, we look at the weight of the leather, this has got some good firmness to it. It's not really, really floppy, but it uh, is not super thick, which I you know works very well because of the folds that are placed in this. And ultimately, because you're folding many different layers, it's still very thin. It's hand saddle stitch with open seas unique pattern on pretty much most of their wallets. A very light burnishing on the edges, which I think is nice. It's not overtly done. Now you'll notice right here, all the different variety of colors you can mix and match along with the thread color that you can choose. Now from a feature perspective on the exterior, we have this quick access card slot, capacity of one to two cards. On the interior, if we open the security flap, we have capacity for one to two cards on two slots, this right here and here, one to three cards each, and an interior cash slot right here. This is a cash wrap. Put cash in, it folds over, and then this right here is not really a, a slot for cards or anything else. This is really to hold the security flap in. And this longer flap facilitates that cash wrap capability. Works with uh, shorter currencies, you know, meaning not as tall, so it actually fits the width of the wallet. Uh, taller currencies, uh, you'd have to fold twice to do that. So let's take a look now at the grain wallet from Tara's Camp. Now I did my original review of the grain wallet in 2020, and thankfully not much has changed with the design. When it's not broke, you don't fix it, I guess. And I have a couple leather versions to look at. Uh, his normal leather, which is this, which I'll mention, and I've got right here, ooh, let me pull it out, right here. This is a beautiful shell cordovan uh, version. Uh, it's just amazing. You know, if, if you've not owned a shell cordovan product, you need to get one. I, I, I know that they're a bit expensive, but once you have a shell cordovan product, you're going to wonder why you bought anything else. So, all right, anyway, back to here. Now, there's two versions of this. One is this version, which comes in either a seven or eight millimeter width to handle wider currencies, like we talked about. And uh, this one in particular has a key option right down here and also opportunity for coins. So this is kind of a half slot. You can see it goes down to here, up right here. And, uh, and this is for coins and keys in addition to cards and cash. So the other version, which I have in this shell, is it goes all the way down for cash and this goes all the way down the back and that is for more cards. So what we'll do is say the weight of this leather is really perfect and strong, stable leather uh, experience while keeping the wallet really slim. Flexible but sturdy. My only complaint is that the die doesn't go all the way down. And you can kind of see that when you get to the flesh side of the leather right in here. And you can kind of see where the dyeing ends as it gets uh, further down. I wish it was kind of immersion dyed or the entire hide was dyed all the way through. Besides that, uh, there's really no imperfection issues that you see on what is shown on the exterior. Now, there are no features on the exterior of the wallet, except you do have the ability to access cash from the side. Folded once, inserted here. We open this up. We can see in this version that we've got one and two card to card slots right here. And then this one is where we can put coins right in here, as well as cash that then fo is folded once placed here, and a little slot for keys right here, or a key, I should say. Let's look at some technical differences, then we'll get into the usability. 
Uh, very nice if you are in a country that requires coins. And yes, pretty much outside the United States, uh, you require lots of coins. And in Europe, you still require lots of coins. It's not just uh, in places in Asia, Africa, or anywhere else. You may ask, well, what happens to coins? Don't they fall out? Well, no, you can see how this flap folds over and that takes care of the coins, which are right here in the back, and it prevents them from falling out. But you have great access to them right here so you can get them into your hand. And he puts a couple little pucks in here to show you how that functions. Now, let's get them both together, Hubei and the grain wallet. From a cards and cash perspective, you can get six cards, five slips of cash, uh, in the Hubei. Company recommends seven to eight cards. You got 20 pieces of cash. And that's where it is a cash fold. Now, I've tested it around 10. It's very reasonable. Taurus Camp, same thing. You get about eight uh, cards in there. Cash needs to be folded once. So not so many, but you know, 10, 12 isn't a problem. Plus, of course, you have the access uh, capabilities for coins and a key. From a measurement perspective, the Open Seas Hubei, you can see is 3.8 by 3.2 by 0.3. The grain wallet is 4.3 by 3.1 by 0.3. Talking like an auctioneer. And you can see the weights that are there. Now from a build perspective and differences there, uh, I'll set aside the coin version of the grain wallet. So we're gonna bring in this version. Uh, so it's a little bit closer to what we're dealing with the Hubei. Now both pretty much use a single line of of thread to sew together. The new 2.0 does not have this. So we'll count this as one and the grain wallet also has one. They're both folded in their construction and their nature of how they come together. Wrap wallets using two pieces of leather to complete what you see. The grain wallet uses a slightly lighter weight of leather than we have with the Hubei and I think that's okay but it is just very slight and the difference is negligible honestly. And uh, from an access perspective, you can see how this, uh, the grain wallet, this kind of slopes down and that's to provide a quick access of getting this up and in, uh, into the slot right here, closes nicely. Same thing here. You've got this straight, but you have the mechanism right here. So it's just a tuck, a slide and tuck. Now with the wrap perspective, the grain wallet wraps itself one more time than the Hubei, but both are really built to last. From a price perspective right now, Open Seas Hubei is $79, which has not changed since I bought the original one two years ago. Way to go, Michael. The Taurus Camp Grain Wallet, $89. It was $68 when I did my original review. Now, from a final score perspective, the Hubei had a final score of 3.9 out of 5, and the Grain Wallet, 4.1 out of 5. I personally like both of these wallets. So if you do too, then look at this video next, and we'll see you in the next review or comparison, that might be the case. Goodbye.